Uh, Ready? POV. All right, let's roll it. And action. I got a crazy, crazy I idea. On the one hand, of course, it's exciting to take over a successful franchise. On the other hand, it's very daunting because there are so many fans who have high expectations for this film. Half of the time, I'm just overjoyed to be part of this. All right, let's just right. do it. And the other half, I'm nervous that I'm going to be hunted down and killed by a pack of teenage girls <laughs> in about a year's time. But for me, the coolest thing is to work with this cast of extraordinarily talented people every day. Cut. That's a cut. How would I describe Chris? Well, he looks like a cross between a vampire and a werewolf to me. He's got the sort of chiseled look of a vampire, and he goes around talking in Italian and French and Spanish. Très simple. Action. El sacco. I did hear someone say the other day that he kind of wants to be British. <laughs> He's a man of the world, though, isn't he? He dresses warm every day, and he puts his socks over top of his pants, and he carries around a stick with him everywhere he goes. <laughs> he is a goofball. Well, you do what it takes, man. And yet he's all sort of like buff, like a werewolf, and kind of a bit hairy. <laughs> Probably did look a bit like a werewolf at the time. I just got too lazy to shave after a while. So he's, uh, he's like a little mythological creature going around the place himself. Well, that's the first part. That's the exciting first part. <laughs> Chris is amazing. I really, really like Chris. He is on it. Chris Weiss is cool as ice. Chris is fantastic. Amazing. Great. Awesome. I think what sums it up is a couple nights ago, under my door and under everybody's door, we got a packet. Which uh, I've now been warned I will be killed by ninjas if it is allowed to circulate on the internet. And I, I opened it up, and, I, and it, was, it was a letter from Chris. It was, like, really long. He stayed up all night. He said he just started writing. Next thing you know, he's writing, 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 writing. Next thing you know, we have, like, a book like that. It was in great detail, and it was just telling us how excited he is to be here working with us, that this project is going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to turn out amazing. That's a gift that Chris has. He's able to welcome everyone and set the scene and through that, draw out these wonderful gems. Okay, let's go on to the next scene. Check it. Thank you. Check. Lovely. I think that New Moon is going to be so fantastic. I think Twilight set up this great place for us, almost like a diving board, and now we're jumping off and going to a whole new level. My concern is with the emotions first and with Bella's emotions first, and that I'm not kind of some guy who's brought in to bring the nitro element to this series. It doesn't suddenly turn into an action movie. It's still about people and it's about feelings. He wants to make it like the book and he's very cool about that. It's on much more of a grand scale than anything we did in Twilight. It's all kind of so much more choreographed. It's very, very operatic. We get an opportunity to sort of expand our scope from the confines of Forks and the Forest to Italy, and so your sense of, of the mythology of this world is deepened. So there are a lot of surprises in store. It's a real pleasure working with Chris, it really is. He's one of the most compassionate human beings I've ever met. For this story, that you need that, and so he's perfect. He steps out here, Bella hits him, bang. Let's get everybody to come back. Here we go, and roll, please. Action! 